Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying, we have the Nightingale ice cream sandwiches. This is a limited edition apple cider. And mine is a limited edition Alden's Organic Pumpkin Spice ice cream. So the pumpkin spice ice cream was $8.36 at Whole Foods. And the ice cream bar was $3.99 at the fresh market. This is one and a half quarts though. So, so uh, we, uh, I'm sure it costs more though too because it's from Whole Foods. And it's organic. Uh, uh, yes, and it's organic. So uh, we love Nightingale ice cream bars. Like we could be the spokespeople for Nightingale. Oh, because yeah. the not only is the ice cream bar, the cookies are good. Yes, this is a uh, very, so like it's $4. I keep putting my scissors down. That's what I usually end up having to do with these, is cut them. But the packaging's really good. Um, it costs $4, but these are like luxury ice cream bars. Yeah, these aren't your little chocolate ice cream bars you get at Walmart. This is like, yeah, are you gonna hold it up? Yeah. This is like when you treat yourself to a really nice box of chocolates, or you treat yeah. yourself, whatever you treat yourself to. If you choose to treat yourself to a steak or whatever, this is like treating yourself uh, when you buy one oh, of these because good. they're such good, yeah, they're such good quality. So we are always thrilled to death when we can find a limited edition flavor of these ice cream bars at the fresh market because our fresh market gets the same flavors all the time. Yeah. And, and the only place you can buy these in our area is at the Fresh Market. I'll take that is from um, We have never seen them, unfortunately, anywhere else. Um, because uh, I would uh, absolutely, I would, I would go travel a little bit in order to get these. Um, but, uh, so we were thrilled to death when we saw the apple cider. It is brown sugar cookies. Spiced apple cider ice cream. That's it. Uh, one sandwich, 147 grams, is 470 calories. It's not low calorie, but think about if you eat a whole uh, tub of ice cream, it's going to be more than that, like a, the little small ones. And these are made in Richmond, Virginia. Which is not that far away from us, so you would think we'd get these. I know. You would think that cookie part would be really hard, and it is firmer, but it's not like hard, like crunchy. So, and when you bite into it, it's just not going to squish all your ice cream out. They, um, these come in smaller boxes, and they um, had almost gone through a whole box, sold through, and they only had like three of these left. Mm -hmm. And when I got it, I asked Kevin, I said, are you sure you don't want me to get another one? Because I knew if we went back right now, I bet you they don't have this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm getting a lot? I, I get I get a little bit of apple. You know what? It seems like I taste more than anything. It's like a honey kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it's the syrup they use for the apple pie kind of part, but mm -hmm. but it almost has a honey-like flavor. I'm kind of missing the apple a little bit, honestly. Spiced but, apple cider concentrate. Yeah. Um, I can see where it's apple cider instead of apple. It has pure orange oil, which I don't get that. No, you don't get the oil. Who knows what that's supposed to contribute yeah. to, though. Um, I think it's absolutely delicious. It's very, very good. It has a nice apple flavor without being apple candy. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't taste like candy apple, but it doesn't taste like that I've gone to the produce section and I've, I've picked up an apple because mm -hmm. it's so sweet. It's subtle, but it's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And though the cookie part is absolutely yeah, incredible. Their cookies are really good. Both is Delicious. really good, but their cookies are just like- I wild. think we've said before in a review that like we would they just- They could just sell the cookies. Just sell the cookies. They could literally just sell the cookies. Uh -huh. like but I would want them out of the frozen section. I would want them just like this. Cold. But yeah, because I wouldn't want them dry because yeah. it would remind me like of a Belveda or something. Yeah, I can um, see that. And those are so dry. Uh, this, I like it that it's in the frozen section and so it's not dry and it just a great texture. I think it's delicious. It is very, very good. I just, I personally wish the apple was just a little bit stronger, but I really do love it. 
as someone who uh, doesn't eat apples all the time, like Kevin, it's plenty, it's plenty for me. Yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's, okay. it's very, very good. I'm not complaining. I would eat that in them. Okay, this is the Alden's Organic. And the or spices are nice too. The spices are nice, yeah. yes. Not too heavy at all. Yeah. Uh, Alden's Organic Oregon Made, established in 2004. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin Spice Ice Cream. This is limited edition. It's gluten-free, USDA organic. It um, It's just talking about the company on that side. Uh, this side, it's just telling you it has no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners or flavoring, or it's non-GMO, uh, no carrageenan, no antibiotics, gluten-free and soy-free. It has nine servings in the container, two thirds cup, 87 grams is 200 calories. And it is sealed. And, and it it's is orange. orange. <laughs> Looks like a push pop orange almost. It does, yeah. Or no, more like a cream kind of orange. Okay. Well, we've only had this line out off. for just, I don't know, five minutes, not long at all. I'm getting out of the container because because uh, it's ours and he can. We, we own it. Nobody else is going to eat it. <laughs> we hey, we paid for it. <laughs> we can eat it any way we want to. Well, if we were sharing it with other people, I, I wouldn't eat out of the container, but no. we're not. So, ice cream is something that's kind of hard to give away to family members. Mm. That's a different pumpkin flavor. It reminds me of an eggnog. Mm -hmm. It's like pumpkin eggnog. I don't see that. Because the mm -hmm. the spices in there kind of remind you of the eggnog spices. Mm -hmm. And it has a really thick, creamy texture. That's really nice. Like nutmeg and ginger. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wasn't actually expecting to like it as much. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, is it's not like it's a really heavy flavor. No, the flavor is actually kind of light. Yeah, but it's perfect um this this is it's, it's totally unexpected honestly they could have called it pumpkin eggnog um because i that get a unique one up. oh yeah well yes we've had that drinks. a unique mushroom flavor yes because we've had pumpkin eggnog in drinks but not ice cream that i recall um because you really do get more of the nutmeg and the ginger than you do of the actual pumpkin mm -hmm. um oh i think you do get a little bit of a pumpkin but yeah not not a lot that is absolutely delicious mm -hmm. and I, I i like it so much more than i even thought i would yeah. i really do i did not expect to like it that much i also like it that it's sweet but it's not overly sweet mm -hmm. it's super super rich and creamy i mean mm -hmm. like creamy to the max i mean it's very creamy but the flavor i have right now is the ginger yeah, I can see that. And it's not a burn. It's not no. a, it's, it's, it, there truly is a creaminess to it, like an eggnog. Mm -hmm. So, it's very, very good. we've tried Alden's before, and I don't remember what we thought, but I can tell you for this one in particular, mm -hmm. this one would be worth buying if, if you uh, like an eggnog flavor anyway. That would absolutely be worth it. Yeah, the, just know that the spices aren't as strong as some of, of the ice creams are. Like some other pumpkin ice creams, the, the spices are a lot stronger, a lot bolder. Right. These are more muted and, and, and creamy. more mellow and yes. creamy. So, so just don't expect this to be like in your face spices like some of the other ones are. It's right. more mellow. But I do, I love both of these things. I'm also yeah. glad that they didn't stick like uh, pumpkin pie pieces or pie pieces in it because it's pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad they didn't put pie pieces in there or something weird and just left it as ice cream. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that too. It, it really is nice. Not that I have anything against pie pieces, sometimes but sometimes they can ruin it. Very good. Yeah, but I love that for for that flavor. I love the nightingale mm -hmm. for the apple flavor. And they're two the, different things. So two really different flavors. Yeah, you compare. cannot compare them at all. And some people have Whole Foods, but they don't have a fresh market. I really, really, really would like to see this nightingale ice cream in more stores because other stores around us do sell Aldens, mm -hmm. like the Co-op. They sell. Aldens. Um, heck, they might sell Ald uh, Aldens at the Fresh Market. Maybe. But the only store that sells Nightingale that we have is the Fresh Market. So I really wish they would branch out. Need to work with Walmart and get them out there for everybody. Uh, I don't think they'd keep their costs down. I don't think they could have their costs down. I think that would um, 
I think it, they might have to hurt their process if they got their price down that low. But I know you can order from their website and get it shipped to your house. The reason I've never done that is because of the combination of flavor. It's like a certain set that you have to order. Uh, you can't and pick your flavors. we've already ordered. Yeah, I want to be able to pick exactly what I get because we've already tried or we have available here the some a lot of the flavors they offer. Well, why would I pay to have it shipped when I can get, go in the fresh market and, and just pick it up? So I want completely different flavors, uh, then that's why I haven't ordered online. Yeah, they should have you pick your own pack. Yeah, and I would like these limited edition flavors online year round. Just offer them year round. limited edition. <laughs> I know. Well, it would be an online only. Yeah, it that's could be true. online only. Uh, the year round, uh, like this stuff, could be an online only and you wouldn't have it at the store. That's true. Uh, because I would love to try some of their other flavors that we haven't. But we've reviewed a lot on the channel. So it's if you're interested, uh, yeah, I'll check them out. But I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching. <laughs>